What's going on, everybody? It's TG back with another video. You guys remember Ameren? Remember that stock, Ameren Corporation, back in the day? Um, was heavily invested into it. Uh, lost a ton of money in this. This is one of my first big loss ever um, on a stock. It was with Ameren. Uh, we lost like about over ten thousand dollars because of it. Uh, here's essentially what happened. I invested into it around, I think it was like nineteen dollars a share, sometime in 2019. Okay. Uh, sold covered calls and it did super super well. Doubled my account, over doubled my account, one, d two and a half times my account uh, with Ameren because it was sitting up at like twenty four. I was writing covered calls and everything, making a ton of money with it because I was on heavy on margin. Um, and then it just started sinking super super hard. And like right when COVID happened, um, like right about here, it like plummeted huge 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 um, to about right to here about thirteen dollars a share. Um, I actually made a video about this. If you guys want to check it out, it's like my portfolio review of last year. Um, and I talk all about it as well. Um, but essentially, I got destroyed on this stock because not only it did it pull back, but then when the COVID crash happened, obviously everything fell. And so a small cap stock like this got destroyed. Uh, so I like wiped my account in half, um, more than in half. And then I got lucky. I sold the covered call. I lost it because it, it shot up here to like 13. I had a 12 and a half call. Um, and then the next day it dropped down to like four dollars a share. So my account would have been wiped out had I not um, lost those shares of the covered call. Well, then I, I ended up getting back into it again um, around this area here, um, around like seven, eight dollars a share. And then they had the patent issue, and then the stock fell another like insane amount, like another like fifty something percent. And again, I lost a couple thousand. Um, and the stock has just been kind of hovering in this area for a really long time. And um, meanwhile, their drug itself has actually done pretty good. It's um, it's put out some really good data uh, for the drug, and it also um, you know got patent appeal, patent approved in places like Europe. Um, and now we're trying to get China as well. Um, we have it in Canada as well. So the drug is growing. Script numbers are growing well. Um, but it's a company that just hasn't really done much at all. Um, and so what I did is I noticed, I looked on the options because I did want to get maybe get a position back into it. So I sold uh, 10 puts and I sold another two when it went down. Uh, $4 strike price for March of uh, 2022 with an average of 60 per. Um, so essentially I'm getting like paid $60 per. There's 12 of them. So we're getting like $720 to essentially say that I'll buy shares at $4 a share. Now, meanwhile, Ameren is sitting at $4.11 a share. So essentially my break even price for this is $3.40. So obviously very, I'd have to drop a lot for that to happen. Um, and it's really cheap right now at a $1.6 billion valuation, revenue is high. Um, and so, I think it's a good opportunity here. I would not just buy shares just because I, I don't want to take that risk. I'd rather you know buy shares at a lower price and get paid to do so. So that's my whole process behind the selling the puts on it. So just want to give you guys an update that I'm back in Ameren. Um, they have a, I mean, they've had some good news, but it just seems like everything gets um, any sort of news just gets destroyed with this stock. Um, so obviously, it's not been that good with with it, but. Um, I do truly believe that um, it's not going to go much lower, honestly. Um, I mean, it's trading around book value right now. And, you know, there is some things that could, uh, you know, catapult the stock. Well, I not I don't really care whether the stock goes up to 10 or whether it just stays here at 411. Like, it doesn't matter to me. If it's above $4 a share, we collect all the premium by March. Um, and, yeah, that's like a nice plane ticket or, you know, hotel. So... Uh, that's essentially what we're gonna try to use it for. Um, but yeah, that's that's the goal. I'm I'm back in Ameren. Um, you know, it's bit me in the butt three times. So let's hope it doesn't do it four. <laughs> hope it doesn't do it four times. Um, but I mean, it's trading so darn cheap right now. It's it's really hard to ignore. Um, I mean, this this stock is really hard to ignore. I mean, man, multiple times this thing was in the twenties, 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 and bam, that patent happened and it crashed and it's been on a, it's been on a downtrend since. But you know, over the past over the past like little bit of time, um, it's kind of like 
held held this little four four dollar range for a while every time it like dips down and touches in threes it comes back up so it's a ton of support that four dollar range so might as well sell some puts collect some collect some premium so that's exactly what we did um but yeah guys let me know what your thoughts on it hit that subscribe button if you guys enjoy these videos and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video take it easy guys bye